Support for this podcast and the following message comes from UJA Federation of New York, celebrating 100 years of doing good together. At UJA, it's easy to get involved with the causes you care about. Whether it's fighting poverty, caring for the elderly, or combating anti-Semitism, UJA helps you impact more people in more places. Whatever you do, be a match. Make time for good at UJAFedNY.org. Hey guys, we are Long live. Radio. Hey guys, we are live here on uh, TC Sports Talk Radio. We are back again. It's been a while since we came back on the station, but today we're going to talk some Steelers football, and we're going to bring on Steelers wide receiver Demarcus Ayers to talk about the journey so far it's been for him and it has been for the Steelers. So Pittsburgh, 11-5, won their wild card game against the Dolphins 30-12, to and they look hot, looking hot, coming out to the playoffs now, looking to play the Kansas City Chiefs. So now we have DeMarcus on the line, and here he is. So, hey, DeMarcus, how are you doing today, man? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well, man, doing well. So I just want to jump right into it, man. So you guys finished the season 11-5, and five, won the AFC North. They've won eight games in a row now, man. How does that feel with you guys in the locker room right now and you yourself, man? Oh, it feels great. Yeah, um, you know, we had some ups and downs throughout the season. A um, couple injuries here and there. Um, guys take, stepping up off season and filling into roles. Um, lost, a, went on a four game losing streak, and um, now here we are on an eight game winning streak. And um, couldn't we couldn't have been peaking at a better time going to you know to the second round of the playoffs. Exactly, exactly. It's been a great season. Started off strong. Had that little stretch of four game losing streak, but since then you guys have been red hot. So I mean. Playing your first game like you played against Baltimore, that had to be exciting, especially if you're being the AFC North. How much did it mean to you to play in that huge game for your first game? Uh, it meant a lot, you know, um, you know, and it meant a lot for the organization just to trust me, um, to put me put me in a situation to even, you know, be prepared to, to go into my first game in such a big rivalry um, with a lot at stake. Um, and then, you know, the amount of plays I ended up playing and the impact I had on the game was even – you know, meant, meant a lot more to me as well. Um, you know, I found out, you know, how important it is to play against the Ravens and the whole rivalry thing. And um, I grew up. I grew up a lot in that game. I, that game gave me a lot of confidence going into the Cleveland game. And, you know, um, just been able to keep building on my role on this team and um, have an impact in any way they need me to have. Right, exactly. Made a huge impact. That game, that's a big game for you guys, of course, you know. The AFC North, but anyway, playing the game against Cleveland, you scored your first career touchdown. I had to feel like a good one, man. How did how did that feel to you, man? Oh, uh, it felt great. You know, it was it was really emotional day for me. You know, my mom was able to come down. Um, her first time ever being in Pittsburgh, um, her first NFL game. Um, it it just meant so much to me to you know to be playing under the circumstances I was going to play on. You know, fresh out of the practice squad. Um, you know, just having an impact on the game and my role um, just on the team. Is just, it was a really emotional day, and I, and I enjoyed it, uh, bringing in the year, new year with my mom and uh, just having fun out there with my teammates. Right. So one, one big question that we wanted to ask you and, of course, all the other receivers alongside you, like Eli Rogers, Kobe Hamilton, and Ladarius Green, how does it feel to play alongside of Ben Le'Veon, a B, like how much do you learn from those guys? Uh, it's fun, you know. Uh, a B is one of the best in the business, and uh, one of my favorite receivers, you know, pretty much throughout college and going um, going through high school, just to have the chance to play alongside of him and learn um, how to become a better route runner every day, how to be a pro every day, um, how to approach um, work every day um, in all fashions of the game, and just the way he prepares, um, the way he takes care of his body. And then from the, all the other guys, just the same thing. You know, Eli is uh, probably one of the best slot guys in the league that no one knows about um, coming into the season. And just the work, amount of work he's putting in, I watch him grow into, you know, um, a really good slot for us. Um, Kobe um, came out of practice squad. Me and him did so much work together, and, you know, grinding to, you know, get to where we are right now. And then um, Hey Bay and, um, you know, uh, Sammy Coates, uh, Marcus Wheaton, all those guys just taught me how to be a pro, and I enjoyed the whole process. And, I couldn't have wanted um, to be promoted and um, work for everything I've, I've had since I got here in any, any other way. All right, man, so best of luck to you guys. Come up to Kansas City. But 
going against Kansas City. You're going into a, a red-hot team with the Chiefs. You guys had them early in the season and beat them by a good amount. So, I mean, mm-hmm. at all, I mean, you guys got to think that Kansas City has got to be thinking the same thing how you guys felt against the Dolphins, getting beat by you guys by a pretty good margin. So going into Kansas City mm-hmm. is always a tough place to play. What do you think the key is mm-hmm. to winning that game and keep moving forward in the playoffs? Uh, just, you know, guys been doing what they, they've been doing pretty much since we've been on a win streak. You know, run the ball well, um, take care of being up front, um, get open uh, for them, um, play great defense. You know, stop the run and, and running the ball is, is always um, on our agenda. And we take pride in doing both. And, you know, uh, we worry about everything else on the outside as receiver and let the game just come to us. Right, right. So, also, getting to that game against the Dolphins, had to get into that one, of course, since it was your first playoff game. Also, the first playoff game for Le'Veon Bell. I mean, for all you guys, man, it had to feel good, especially getting that big win. You know, defense stepped up, too, when you needed it. So, I mean, how did that yeah. game – I mean, you guys played pretty well. And also, I mean, before uh, we get into that, is, uh, that one catch you had that was almost a touchdown. I mean, Eli Rogers, man, come on, man. That, that couldn't have been a block. In the, it couldn't be a block in the back, man. <laughs> Yeah, it was uh it was a I think it was a bad call, you know. I um I went over and told him, you know, I appreciate, you know, him just selling all out for me and um unfortunate that happened to him. Um but just you know, that was a big game for us, you know, um playing at home in the playoffs, um, great atmosphere, just just to get things started off in the right way. Um went went had some up and downs in the game but pretty much came out on fire and uh, finish the ball game healthy, and um, that was that was all we wanted to do, is give ourselves a chance to win that one and have a chance to play in the next one. Exactly, exactly. So, I mean, coming up in Kansas City, man, it's been – it's probably got to be crazy playing in front of Steeler Nation, especially, I mean, everybody – that must be a heck of a home field advantage. So, you know Kansas City's going to have their big home field advantage. Just you guys you guys going to have to deliver. But, I mean, good luck to you guys the rest of the way. And uh, thanks for taking a couple minutes to join us today. It was good talking to you, uh, DeMarcus. And uh, good luck the rest of the playoffs. And good luck next this weekend. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. No problem. So that was DeMarcus Ayers, Pittsburgh Steelers wide receiver. He joined us for a couple minutes. And that's been it for today's show. You've listened to TC Sports Talk Radio with Tyler Candelaria. Okay, Kevin, for the grand prize of $1 million. What color is the White House? Um, I know this, I know this, I know this. Um, five seconds. Oh, switching to Geico could save you a bunch of money on car insurance? Okay. Judges? That's true, Kevin. Bill and Owen, congratulations. You're a winner. Woo! Geico, because saving 15% or more on car insurance is always a great answer.